Now, talking of previous ages, it was once believed that the remains of the ancient pharaohs, carefully swaddled in strips of cloth and encased in embellished tombs, would unleash a deadly curse upon whoever dared to disturb them. But scientists today say that a fatal fungus within them, which struck dead several archaeologists at the turn of the century, could now be a miracle cancer drug. To find out now more, I'm joined by Professor Elaine Bignall, Professor of Medical Mycology at the University of Exeter, specialising in human fungal pathogen research, which sounds terrifying. Uh, Professor Bignall, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Can I ask you, first of all, is there some sense that this could be the next penicillin we're talking about here? Well, good evening, Andrew, and thanks very much for featuring this topic. Um, any discovery of a bioactive molecule uh, produced by a microorganism, in this case a fungus, uh, that has a, a demonstrated useful purpose uh, in human medicine uh, is essentially um, a, a new penicillin, uh, if you like, in terms of the magnitude of that discovery. Um, so in the past, a lot of these discoveries were serendipitous. Uh, but now technology allows us to look at fungal genomes and the products that they produce and try to trace those with much more dexterity and accuracy than we ever could before. Hmm, fascinating. And th to be clear, the, this is, these are tiny bits, pieces of fungus which were wrapped around the dead pharaoh way back at sort of 3000 BC or never it was when they were put into their caskets and have been revealed again in the modern world having vanished everywhere else in the interim, yes? Well, these fungi have always been around us, uh, Andrew, and actually they cause immense okay. problems spoiling crops in the present day. Um, the theory is that the uh, the cereals that were um, placed into uh, the graves as grave goods harboured fungi that were degrading those cereals, um, and those fungi are able, uh, as we know, to produce very, very potent toxins. Um, so mm. uh, the fungus that um, that has been implicated um, in the Tutankhamun moon story um, is a fungus that produces one of the most toxic um, small chemicals known to man. Uh, and um, this we know um, can be deadly, this is the, this, uh, was this likely is the deadly in that case. This is the pharaoh's curse that sort of whack down people who first opened the tombs. Um, now that we know that it has this very, very useful potential uh, in medicine, what kind of diseases might it be used for? What kind of remedies will it provide? Okay, so um, uh, this particular small molecule that has recently been identified, um, which is called an asparagomycin, um, the scientists have discovered that this uh, is able to um, stop um, immune cells from dividing. So it could be a very important intervention um, in tumour um, formation um, and um, um, expansion. But um, we don't really know, uh, in many instances, why fungi harbour these um, small molecules that are highly active. So what advantage they deliver to the fungus uh, is often unknown. Of course, when penicillin was discovered, um, we knew that it was bioactive in terms of preventing uh, bacteria from growing. Um, but that was an accidental discovery in a Petri dish. Um, unlocking the secrets of uh, fungi uh, in the current day, um, in it includes an awful lot of detective work. That means looking at what the fungal what? species is, uh, when it produces the toxin, a lot, and what a lot the toxin to would be. Yeah, a lot to discover in the future. Well, let's just hope that Tutankhamun can save us from terrible things in the here and now. That would be a wonderful thing to think. Professor Bignall, thank you so much for talking to me.